Alright, this is another truck of mine. Let's just take um, three seconds to appreciate um, life. Yeah. It's good to be alive. Alright, so this is the Team Associated RC8, and it is done actually. Uh, so I got this used, as I've said many times, um, what I've done to it, I put some Hobby King cheap ass tires on there, which do have tread, the ones that came with it did not. I've put some heavier diff oil in the rear, really don't remember, I think 50,000, put 100,000 in the center, because uh, I really wasn't getting any traction on grass. Uh, I should still do the front, but um, as it drives great, I probably won't. Um, then it already had the big bore off the shocks, which it does not have stock. And then I put T-bone bumpers on the front and the rear. Because this thing, I really got just because uh, it was cheap and I know it's very durable. And I, I'm just planning to bash the crap out of it because I don't really care about it as much as I do about my other kits. Um, and with these T-bone bumpers, I, I really, I thought I wouldn't like the look. It's actually better than I thought. Um, but I don't care about the looks. It should make it a lot more durable. Um, so hopefully that's true. What I also did is I put stiffer springs on the rear. These are off an SD4, I believe. Um, and some thicker oil in the shocks. Especially because I'm going to do some big jumps, so we can't have it bottoming out all the time. Not sure why I made times plural there. It really wasn't necessary. Okay, one thing that's a change of plans is that I have the uh, Xerun 80 amp speed controller in there. So that's a censored speed controller. Um, I initially had the 120 amp Hobby King ESC in there, but that thing sucked monkey balls because it's just impossible to program. There's something wrong with it, or with mine at least. Um, sometimes you could get it to program and it would work for a while, but then it would just quit working and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And when you're programming it, only once out of every 20 times does it actually do what it's supposed to do. So I just gave up on it. So um, Hobby King has always been great for me. So I got this used and it works fine as expected. Um, it's very smooth also. I can program it with my card. No problems there. Um, I'm happy it's 80 amp actually because I want to run this strictly on 4S. Um, just to increase the durability a little bit. Then it also has a king's head top plate here. It already came with that. And it has my HPI, HPI more as a servo in there. And I believe that's about it. So this should be a badass um, basher vehicle, I believe. No, wait, actually, there is something that I also upgraded. You see, I drove it into a car tire by accident. You really have to watch out for cars, um, I must say, because you really don't want to dent someone's car. That kind of freaked me out. But anyway, I broke one of the upper arms when I was doing that. So I just got two new ones off of the new RC8.2, and I just installed both of them. Um, so I think the plastic should just be fresher than the old plastic it came with, so that should be stronger. I was going to install the lower A arms as well, which I also got with the kit. Um, but I haven't because they don't fit. Because these little inserts are different on this model, so I'll have to get those separately also to make them fit. Alright, that's so that's it. I want to end the video, but um, I'm not going to. So, let's take a note. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, um, I guess I will end it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.